Lubitz Roller 89 here. And under this bandana is one of my newest cars. I bought it used. I didn't buy it new. It is going to be a touring car. Um, so let's go ahead and pull the bandana off slowly. And I will show you what she looks like. I also did purchase two bodies for this car. Right now I have the one body because I did run this car and I have the body that I banged up at uh, my local hobby shop which is actually Danbury Hobby Center in Danbury, Connecticut. Um, the track there is pretty fun. They change up the setting of the track and the layout of it. So let's go ahead and pull this cover off. So here she is guys, she is an HPI Sport 3, um, just let you look at the outside for a minute. Alright guys, so uh, let me go ahead and pull the body off and show you her guts. She's uh pretty much stock there's nothing I've really done to her but uh, let's talk about that once I get this body off okay so here she is guys um, she's got her stock 15 turn in her stock ESC stock servo and radio and everything um, I did go ahead and put a lipo in her I picked up another lipo so that'll help out with my crawler because of the one I had damaged that I showed you guys, I believe, in my previous video. It's a 2S LiPo, 7.4 volts, uh, 5200 milliowers. It's also a 35 cell. Um, I do have a Dean's plug on it, also on the car as well. Um, sorry for today's lighting. I'm having some lighting issues today, so this is the best we can do for the day. But um, if I turn her here, she's got the tires. I don't know if they're actually stock or what. These were what was on there. You can see the tread. Um, the radio, I believe, is stock. Let's move her out of the way. Here's the uh, radio. Strange looking radio compared to my crawler, so it was a little weird for me and took some getting used to. But I will be racing her at uh, my local hobby shop, like I said, which is Danbury Hobby Center in Danbury, Connecticut. So I'm hoping to bring my GoPro and get some footage of that for you guys. It's supposed to be pretty interesting. It happens on Saturday nights, um, which will be tomorrow night. So we'll see if a video can come out of that or what. But um, I'm going to upgrade this to brushless. Because last night I ran the crap out of her and she started smoking. Got so hot I thought the thing was going to blow up. Still works though, surprisingly. So we'll see what happens. I'm definitely going to switch to brushless though to uh, avoid that whole thing. Uh, maybe I'll change some of the gearing in here. We'll see what happens. But, you know, that's it pretty much, guys. Just a short video today. Before we go, I'll actually grab the other body. I'm in the process of forming the sides so that uh, they can be as nice as these are on the, on the body that came with it. Here is my RX-7 body, guys. As you can see, I have a rubber band holding the sides down. I did do a little heat and put a rubber band and I'm going to leave it like this for a few days hoping that these sides form down so that they can hug a little closer to the frame here and look a little better. But uh, 
that's the RX-7 body, guys. I think she'll look pretty nice once she's ready to go. So, that's pretty much it for today, guys. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you've enjoyed today's video, leave a like. Till the next time, Roller89, peace.